Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually going out and we're going to be scouting a piece of public land that's close to us. Uh, we're about 20 minutes out, I had to get some breakfast and we're just gonna go out there, kind of walk around, see if we can find any good spots that we think are getting a lot of white tail movement. And then we're actually gonna be throwing up the game camera that I bought a while back off of Amazon. And we're gonna let it soak for a while. It's still way early on. Uh, in the season, nowhere near bow season opening day, so just kind of wanted to get familiar with the area and uh, get eyes on what's happening out there. So we're gonna set this camera out, we're gonna let it sit for about three weeks, then we'll come back out, pull the SD card, and just look and see. Uh, got any movement? And if we do, if we think that's a good spot, we'll just leave it there. And then planning on getting a couple more of the same cameras and putting them out there in other spots. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen the camera, it's the bike regain camera. Down below, so you guys can check it out. I'll also, show post a video of where I did the camera review, so you guys can take a look at it and kind of see uh, how I performs pretty much. But that's pretty much it. Oh, it's gonna rain on us. Well, probably, hopefully, we see some movement. Eh? All right, guys, so we made it out to the public land piece that we're trying to scout, right, Chris? Yeah. Um, obviously, we're not in like camel gear. If you want to when you're out scouting, go for it. Um, like I said, it's still way early on in the season. Obviously, the later in the season it gets, the more uh, the more careful we're going to be about scent. Like we'll start wearing camel and start putting scent eliminator stuff on. Uh, but today, main plan is there's a little water source here. Um, today's main plan is trying to find some deer sign. See if we can locate anything with the binoculars. I got my rangefinder. Just finding the deer sign and seeing if we can find some good game trails and we'll toss the bikery game camera up. Remember on public land guys, just look at your regulations. You can't put uh, trail cams out. But just make sure you're following the rules. Like here in Oklahoma, we have to have our member number, which is basically your hunting and your hunting license. Chris just found like a little blackberry there. <laughs> Um, but basically you have to have your hunting member number, your name, and then I just put my phone number on there because if somebody finds it, you know, they should call me. Alright guys, so we kind of came, there's a whole bunch of ponds kind of scattered around. Um, but we're, what we're doing is we're checking the water's edge to see if we find any deer droppings or okay. any uh, deer tracks. There's, that's possibly one there, so. There's one clear. That's definitely a deer track. So we're gonna make our way up in this woods. There's actually a point that I marked that I wanted to check way up in here, so. We're just kind of following this up to a point that I have on my Onyx app. So we're gonna end up going to that purple point, just looking around for that deer sign there. Think about setting up the camera, but we got like four of the points on the east side of this property. But honestly, like this is pretty neat with all this wooded cover. Out here in this big open field, basically, you can tell like some of the grass is laying down. This could either be just animals walking by here constantly, but if you look back in here, there's two smaller circles, and we're actually walking across this. Not really thinking it could have been a bed right away, but then if you get up close, there is a really old white tail boot, but it's just old. I mean, it's faded, but it is scat. So possibly it means that they're not using this at the moment because it's not really fresh uh, sign, but it's a possibility later on in the season or just not right now, maybe in a couple of weeks they'll be on this. Um, but what I feel is they come out here and they lay down in this tall grass, as you can tell it's I mean, it's taller than my freaking knee. Some spots are like hip chest high, so. Um, they, they very well much lay out here and then they go up into the woods to eat acorns or whatever's falling. But uh, that's definitely some old deer scat. I'm gonna mark this on the Onyx map just to kind of keep a point of reference, but the point that we're actually trying to go to a little bit more north and a little bit to the east, kind of at the end of this hole. Towards the waypoint point that I wanted to check out. There's a pretty predominant trail where we cut into the woods here. Right in here in this area, as you can see where it opens up, 
this is where you gotta watch on the ground i mean there's not deer sign but this is all old uh acorns so we know somewhere in here this tree here is the one that's dropping acorns so that's what you gotta look at okay we got acorns falling on the ground and that's a food source for deer so this could very well be a good source come later on in the year there's a couple of trees where i could already see kind of setting up there's a tree back there that we could possibly get up on and back in here there's a big tree right there we could possibly get on other than that i mean it's kind of tucking up in the brush and just waiting so. all right guys we came out of this trail and there's a couple of does up here so this is some good sign All right, guys, so we we're walking pretty much the trail right there, rain. Juan and Chris. It started raining on us, but I popped up to this field, and you can see how tall this is. It's pretty much as tall as me. And I came up, and I looked straight out in the field, and all I seen out of nowhere was just a freaking head pop up, and there was a doe straight in the middle of it. Um, and then she pretty much ran that way. I'll show you guys. She was pretty much in front of that tree, and she ran this way. Really what this is about is scouting, getting foots out there. Still haven't set the camera out. I was tempted to set it where we saw the doe, but I just marked it as a doe spot because I really wanted to check this side out first. And if I end up setting it out over here, when we buy the new cameras, we can actually bring it to the edge of that field. And then we can start seeing what's moving where, trying to track all the movement, but. Well, as you can tell, we're soaked. <laughs> Dude, it's pouring out all right, here. So we just set up a camera kind of close to that other spot getting pretty bad and we're just gonna hightail it out of here like two wide tail that we just caught a scent of a damn hunter so we're yeah. just gonna all ass get out of here and get the hell out get to our car and get out because the car is also parked on the side of the road which is mud and grass oh god yeah let's get out of here get out of here Well, guys, we made it back from the scouting trip. Had a shower because, man. <laughs> we got ran off by the storm, and then we also had a tick problem going on. So uh, we'll definitely be buying some tick spray to keep them off our clothes and body. But Dude, when we found the first We scattered man. like halfway, right? Yeah. Half, half of our points, uh, and then it started storming, so we were like... Throw the game camera up right here where we're at, and let's haul butt all the way back to the car. And uh, pretty funny, we we rode back in boxers, guys. That was <laughs> we had to. There was, was no other thing to do but to do that. <laughs> so note to self: tick spray, extra clothes, and extra clothes, <laughs> extra clothes for sure next time. <laughs> extra clothes, guys. Anyways, see y'all the next time. We're probably gonna go out next weekend uh, and go check the rest of the spots and possibly throw up some more cameras if we yeah. have them by then. Maybe have two or three other cameras. But to anyways, go. thank you guys for joining us on this funny, little adventure. Yeah, little adventure we had. We did see a doe, so that's already a positive sign there. Um, so yeah, let's go. See y'all next time. Next time.